But one man is dead after a shooting in a southwest Houston neighborhood. Police believe this all started with an altercation outside the home and ended with one man shooting and killing the other. This happened on Wood Valley Drive near Stella Link Road, just north of the South Loop. That's where Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil is live. Sophia? Well, police say they are still looking for the suspected shooter, and they tell us that he and the victim were riding in the same car. They pulled up into this driveway of this home that is actually for sale and vacant. They got out of the car, something went wrong, and then he shot the other man. Woodside is known as a very quiet neighborhood, but around 11 a.m., neighbors reported hearing gunshots. It is actually very unusual uh, for this area, so that's why it's definitely out of place um, to see that happen here. Houston police say Friday morning, two men in a gray or silver Toyota pulled into the driveway of a vacant home that's for lease. Investigators say the two men got out of the car, and then there was some sort of altercation between them. Witnesses described hearing about four shots uh, in the air. Witnesses looked out and they saw a vehicle driving off and then firing more shots at our complainant. Houston police say a man in his 60s was taken to the hospital where he died. Angela Smith received an alert on her next door neighbor app about the shooting that happened on her street. I came home, a police officer escorted me to the front door and uh, I walked inside and just immediately, I don't know, instinct, I went over to that window and I saw glass all over the floor, so I pulled open the blinds and yeah, the whole window's broken. Police say they found bullet fragments in Angela's home and their surveillance video of the glass breaking. I have a five-year-old son and um, I'm just glad we weren't home. And police say they are still very much looking for this suspect. They say the last thing that he was seen driving in was a gray or silver Toyota. Now, there is surveillance video of the vehicle. We have put in a request to HPD to get that footage so we can get it out to you all so that if someone sees it, they can contact police as soon as possible. Reporting from Southwest Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.